Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today we're going to do another episode of Movie Spotlight, because we haven't done uh, one of these in a while. Um, and we're going to do an Italian horror film that I really, really enjoy, and that is Tenabre from 1982. Um, and this was directed by Dario Argento. Uh, I've mentioned him on here before for the uh, Demons movie spotlight, uh, as he was the producer and co-writer of that film. Uh, in this case, he is the uh, writer and director of this one. Um, and this movie is a bit more... It's not uh, as... It's not supernatural. It's not like the... Uh, not like something like Suspiria. Uh, it's a lot more akin to, uh, you know, his Giallo work, uh, you know, Deep Red, uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know, that, more in that style. But I really like it because it's kind of an, it's an interesting twist on kind of like, it feels like Murder, She Wrote, but it's being done by an Italian person. Um, uh, and I, I say that in the, in the best possible way. Uh, because basically the, uh, the star of the film, um, Anthony Francosa, uh, he is uh, a writer, a uh, famous writer, and he's just released a new book called Tenabre, uh, and he, he writes horror, you know, he writes all this gory horror stuff, because again, it's, it's, it's Italy, and he's, he's an Italian writer. Um, so, basically, murders start to happen based off of this book in some way, so he gets involved and embroiled in this investigation. Uh, you have a bunch of characters that kind of pop in and out. There's a few cops. Uh, John Saxon plays his uh, agent, uh, and you have uh, a few other Dario Argento uh, regulars, uh, Daria Nicolotti, uh, who also would go on to be in Phenomena, and I believe she was in Inferno, although I could be wrong. Um... <clears throat> But uh, this one, it, the, the cast does a great job. Again, it, it's Italian with dubbing, but the cast still does a very good job at what they do. Uh, the the film, I, I think this film, it, it's not as good as Deep Red, I think, in the overall sense of the film. And Maybe I'll do another one on Deep Red, even though it's a bit better known from Dario Argento. Uh, but with Tanabre, the, the actual, uh, the building is better. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I feel like the, the building... Uh, of the actual plot, you know, the the rising action is better than it is in Deep Red. Because Deep Red, you kind of start off on a bit of a fever pitch, and then it's kind of a, a gradual kind of decline into a plateau where the investigation and stuff is going on, and then it shoots right back up at the very, very end. Uh, in this, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's graduating to the very end. There's really no, like, plateau. Things just kind of increasingly get worse and worse and worse as you keep going through the story and there's so many red herrings that you really have no idea what's going on um and it doesn't even though it does kind of go nuts a little bit with them it's not uh, to the extent where you kind of lose track especially if you're interested in italian horror if you've seen italian horror or giallos before um then you kind of know what to expect from a bunch of the red herrings and the way people tend to act in those type of films um but Tanabra does a better job with that. Of course, they have the, the blood and gore, which is the, the staple of kind of all, almost all like, 70s and 80s Italian cinema. Um, and uh, Dario Argento, again, does a very good job. I know I keep comparing this to Deep Red, but it, it's kind of, it's almost like a sister piece to it. Um, just because it, it kind of operates. It's a completely different story in a different place. And it, it really, uh, the only significant, uh, you know, similarity is that it involves killing people um but it, it feels very much like in that type of a tone um now the other thing is as you go through the story you know the the like i said the acting i find very good the special effects are very good as usual um but the ending of this film and i don't want to give away too much about the ending uh because the ending is is it's it, the only thing i can compare it to kind of is demons not in the sense that there's so many MacGuffin, uh, there's so many uh, Chekhov's guns at the beginning of the uh, uh, of the movie, like demons had, and then they kind of all come together at the end. This is just everything progressively gets more and more insane in this film until you get to the end of it, and the end of it is so goddamn crazy, um, you know, in the things that it does because you think something happened and then it doesn't happen and then somebody dies and somebody doesn't die and then something else happens. You know, there, there's a lot that goes on at the end of this film uh, and it's kind of just a clusterfuck of insanity until everything, until the dust kind of settles. Um, but it does, uh, it does that kind of classic horror thing with the, like, with the, you know, oh, you know, everything, you know, they draw out the ending 
uh, to the point where it kind of gets to gratuity. But they do end it at a, at a point where I don't think it becomes uh, too boring. It doesn't become overdone. Um, so, you know, Tenabre is just one of those type of films that it, it hits on a good level with people that really like Italian horror, people that like mystery, uh, people that like, you know, any kind of, you know, the, the gore effects and stuff like that. Because, again, there's a lot of really good gore effects in this. There's some of them that are kind of hokey, but most of them are very, very good, um, including a uh, a severing of an arm, which is uh, probably the the piece de resistance of the actual, you know, the gore in the film. Um, but aside from that, you know, there's really not much more I can say about it. As you, you know, it's, it's Dario Argento, so you know what you're getting. Um, and you're getting a really, really great Giallo film. I think it's one of his better ones. I, I, I would put this ahead of something like Phenomena. Like I said, the only thing I would really put ahead of it in terms of his Giallo type of thing is uh, is Deep Red. Everything else is kind of, you know, Deep Red to Nabre and then kind of everything else, because he did have a few other ones outside of that. Um, but... I want to know what you think. Have you guys seen Tenabre? Do you like it? Uh, you know, had, do you, are you a fan of Dario Argento? Is this one you have seen? Uh, you haven't seen? Um, or do you kind of not care? Italian horror is not really your thing. Uh, you know, put your thoughts in the comments below. Again, I like to know what you're thinking. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe, and remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you?